To install a uh, unreproachable with G630, the following parts are required Draw frame and a spreading system, spray system, motor set, control system, power system, and some necessary tools. Accessories welding. Before assembling the draw frame, it is necessary to weld the motors. Can have module, PMU, water pump, and cap. Install the draw frame. Open the packages. Take out the arms, bending legs, tank, and the draw body. Step 1. Remove the front and the rear cover, as well as the waterproof bolts. Step 2. Turn over the draw body. Insert the inner liner. Place the liner the holes and then fix the draw legs one by one. Step 3. Install four oblique teeth. Note the holes is horizontally inward. Step 4. Insert the radar crossbar into the oblique teeth and fix the lower screw slider. Step 5. Insert the crossbars of the bending leg. Note the screw holes and fix the screw slightly. Step 6. Turn over the frame. Adjust the position of the radar crossbar. Make sure the the distance is 9 cm. Adjust the height of the front and the rear radar bars in 10. Then fix the screws and press the draw frame to level it and then fix the screws at the crossbar teeth. Install draw arms and motors. Step 1. Install the front and the rear threaded part. Fix the upper screws and the lower screws. Step 2. Install 6 arms, align the holes and fix them. Then put the locking caps, water clamps, and the spring room fixing parts in the forearms. Step 3. First, disincrease the motor's coat. Take the location of the camera as the nose from left to right, M1 to M6. CW motor I installed at M2, M4, and then M6. And the CCW should match the M1, M3, and M5. Pass the power cable and the signal cable through the arm and into the center. And fix the power slightly to avoid falling off. Install the spring system. Step 1. To install the white top double nozzle, please note the position long load, short load, and then fit the no on spring fitting part. Step 2. Install the waterproof, place the screws and washers in the waterproof holes, and fix them on the front frame. Please note the waterproof, the draw and cut the guard hole, insert the power cable and signal, and insert them to the body into the distribution belt. Step 3. To install the water pipe. First, install four iron tight clamps on the frame. Then use a water pipe to connect the outlet of the pump. And use the T-shaped T to connect another short pipe. Extend the water pipe through a new T-shape and pass through the I-shaped clamp. And then the clamp it on the M2, M6 arms. And then insert into the right top nozzle. Next, connect the water pipe at the free t shaped nozzle T. Lead it from the front to the V. Pass through the I top pipe clamp and insert into the M3, M5 pipe clamp. Step 4. Use a short water pipe to connect the inlet of the water pump. Then connect it into the flow meter. And then use a long water connect pneumatic connector at the bottom of the tank. Then pass the flow meter signal line through the guide cord to the distribution belt. Install radar. Step 1. Assemble front and the rear obstacle avoidance radars and the ground defense radars. Fix the three radars and the radar adapter plane together. Then fix the front obstacle avoidance and the ground defense radar adapter on the one radar adapter. And finally, fix the rear obstacle avoidance radar adapter plate under the radar adapter. Step 2. Install the front obstacle avoidance and the ground defense arm radar crossbar at the draw head. Remove the radar crossbar. Insert it into the radar adapter plane horizontally. Replace and fix the screws. Then install the rear obstacle avoidance radar. Install flight control. Step 1. Remove the flight control mounting plate. Fix the main control 3M blue and insert the M1 to M6 motor signal lines into the corresponding holes of the main controller. Step 2. Insert the pump signal line 
into the P1. Plug the flow meter signal wind into the key one. Step 3. Fix the PMU. Insert the plug into the power distribution belt and insert the signal wind into the power belt. Step 4. The 6P cable of the T12 receiver signal wind insert into the data transmission port. Another data wind insert into the main port. The sparse wind insert into main control RC port. Step 5. Fix the GPS and then insert the GPS cable into the main control. Step 6. Install the LED lights and fix them at the tail light cover. An LED light cover passes through the beam and reaches the distributor plate to connect with the LED holes. Step 7. Install the camera. Fix it on the draw head. Insert the power cable into the distribution belt. Then insert the signal wire into the data transmission belt. Step 8. Set the flight control module plate. Step 9. Fix the car hub module. Plug the power line into the distribution belt and signal line into the flight control converse port. Step 10. Fix the IT gun module and install the power cable into the car hub turbo voltage. Plug IDK signal line into the main control EMT first port. And then insert the three middle cables into the car hub. Fix the installation plant. Step 11. Assemble the ITK antenna mount. Install the ITK antenna in the receiver holes on both sides of the front frame and insert the cable through the frame into the PRI and the CC of the ITK module respectively. Then reinstall the front and the rear covers. Step 12. Install the spray tank. Insert the sample tank into the frame and insert one pipe at the flow meter into the pneumatic connect at the bottom of the tank. Flight debugging. Step 1. Level the assembly drawer. Use the level to adjust the models and tighten the screws. All six models need to be labeled to prevent fault during flight. Step 2. Take the draw outdoor. Takes it by the multimeter for short circuit. If no beeping sound indicating the power plug can be used normally, install the battery and measure the battery voltage, which is 58.4 voltage. Step 3. To on the remote control, open the H12 tool, click the advanced options, enter the password, then click the adjust elements. Here we set channel 6 as an A, channel 7 as A, channel 8 as B, channel 9 as H, and save it. Step 4. Of the Agree Assistant application, log in. Select the H12 MK15. Click the Start. Then click the menu in the upper right corner. Click the IC Calibration. Calibrate uh, down, left, and right levels. To confirm the joysticks can be used normally. Then click the Get Set and the channels can be customized. Channel 6 set as back, channel 7 set as back, channel 8 set as engine, channel 9 set as AB, then save it, and IC mode set as mode 1, and save it. Step 5. Place the second icon on the left. Click the compass calibration in the center page. Rotate the draw horizontally until the LED light turns green. Direct the draw continue to rotate until the LED light flashes. Then put down power off and on again to complete the calibration. Then set the battery parameter. Select the harm for low voltage protection. Set the first level to 51.4 voltage. Set the second level to the 50.4 voltage. The mirror voltage. Input the actual voltage. Previous mirror 58.4 voltage. Then spring setting. Set the lever protection to on. Set work mode as a single point and save it. The rest are parameters and the extra mode don't need to adjust. Step 6. Click the force icon on the left and the force is for the advanced settings. And click the install position. Click the read and save it. The click the flight gate. The second view set as manual. The third view set as AB work. Save it. After saving, test the name. Next step, click the frame. Select the draw frame type. G630 is a 6 axis type. Select the right one and save it. Set the sensitivity 
click a base and sync, read and sync. At the end, click the last icon and click the about the map type in remote control type set as H12. Spray debugging. Pour some water into the tank. Press the A button to take the spray. First, empty the air in the mode, then tap it. Check if the spray is on. Flight test. Power off. Install the paddles on the motor. Tighten the screws. Note that paddles should match the motors. Then power on and test. Dial the levers 45 degree down to the center to unlock. Turn the right joystick counterclockwise to check the motor rotation. After that, turn the left joystick up. Then press the A button to control the direction of the right joystick to check the spring. Install the spreading system. G630 can switch spreading to the spreading function easily, and the spreading system can well work in CAM mode. Let's see how to assemble and the debugging of the spreading system. Step 1. Installation of the waiting mode. First, install the full core fixing map, the electronic control component of the waiting module and the millimeter wave empty module. The waiting sensors are installed on the both sides of the tank. The long cable module is outside and the short cable module is inside. Then connect the harnesses one by one, fasten them. After that, use the clips to fix each cable of the tank. After the assembly is completed, remove the tank waterproof power cable, signal cable, and so on. Pass the flight control cable through the cargo core into the frame. First, remove the distribution bolt, then power cable into the distribution bolt. Connect the valve cable to the main control E1 and the speed cable to P2. The material shortage signal cable to the L1 and the adapter cable to the CAN2. Then reset the draw cable. Insert the spreading tank, making sure the waiting module sensor fits tightly with the frame, leaving a gap between the tank and the battery buffer. Step 2. Put the brim of a spreader into the spread, then fix the screw and adjust the three knobs, and put it into the bottom of the tank and lighten the knobs. Then connect the thick spreader cable to the front cable and then connect the other cable to the main wire. 1 to 2 transfer cable. Connect the short wire to the millimeter wave empty module, another wire to the waiting module for the precise spreading. If you want to quickly switch the spreading system, spreading system and use the port cable. Disconnect the breather from the flight control and uh, connect the water pump extension wire with the flight control. Connect the water pump interface to the pump extension. After that, change the tank and connect the water pipe to complete the bridge. Spray the debugging. Open the Agree Assistant application. Switch your CAM mode. Click Sewing. Switch the Precision mode to Manual mode. Test whether the rotating speed and avoid work. If this work normally, the CAM mode is safe successful. Click the menu in the upper right corner of extra mode. Click Healing Calibration with 3 seconds. Check the display of the remote. The weight is zero. The tail calibration is finished. Then weight calibration. Pull object up into the tank and the air weight in the weight calibration in the same Click Save and wait 3 seconds. Check the weight display in the lower right corner. If same weight calibration done, if it fails, please recalibrate. Finally, click the flow calibration, create a new template, click create, choose the object name, save the image, such as the egg, dosage, the speed, flying speed, and so on, and click save. Remove the spray terminal, add the object over 15 kilograms, click sewing, choose the right name of the object, then click the flow calibration. You can view the curve table on the left. Flight test open a free assistant application and it both circle and one to echoes. Set a hex dosage. Select the template created during flow calibration. Take off. Check whether the weight changes with the seating and if 
now the agricultural drone has finished the debug.